like Issa's like you know on the conversation with her but also like pauses real quick as she's watching and she's like oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry again and um if he if you don't want to see me anymore I completely understand I uh I just want to say I had a fantastic time with you though it just goes god damn it like do you graduate early or <laughs> just say you were held back a year lie I was held back a year you know so you have another year of high school no 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 this is my last year I, I, I graduate in May call me in May I guess this just feels too weird with you being in high school I'll hold uh-huh. do it don't be a stranger Third girlfriend, really? Cuts, cuts, to, cuts to her at the thing. It's like, it's like, like head and hands. Like, what am I doing? Um, and <laughs> oh, just, my God. <laughs> cut, um, cut back. One of them, like, like, someone kind of raises their hand, and one of them... Uh, they're, they're, they're asking some questions, and you get one. Um, Jester, what do you want to say to Chuck Carlson? Uh, I, think John, I think Johnny's uh, giving him kind of the side eye, like, remember what we talked about? I think uh, Jester just kind of, like, holds the mic for a second, just kind of looks out and is like, uh, big smile on. Uh, thank you for asking that question. You know, uh, if Dad, I mean, Chuck Carlson was here right now, what I would want to say to him is that, you know, I am, uh, I'm very sorry for what happened there, but, you know, it's, uh, it came from a place of deep hurt, it came from a place of, uh, you know, being denied this connection with this person who's supposed to be so important to my life. And, you know, just, it, it, it it's, it was, it's very regrettable that, you know, Chuck didn't want to take part in my life and, you know, didn't really make much of an effort there, but doesn't excuse what I did. But, you know, it's uh, sometimes when you're looking for looking at Tommaso. You like literally what you've been saying, you just see Tommaso's tension, the amount of tension he built up, just starting to leave his body. The way that you've been talking about this, he just he seems massively relieved. When you're looking for approval and attention and for somebody to acknowledge you, you know, sometimes the best way to get acknowledgement is to uh, even negative attention is still attention. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'd have to say to Chuck. I just want to explain how we got here. Um, Thank you for your question. And um, Zaylin, you recognized uh, Brigida in the crowd of people um as and you you also see Tommaso at one point just sort of like there's someone with with a with a microphone and he just kind of like points over towards Brigida and the person doing it goes over and just goes Zaylin what do you wish people understood about about you <laughs> I I wish they'd understand that I'm a teenager like everyone else here, I might look different, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm learning how to, how to be a, a, not just an adult, but a human like everybody else. And I don't know. I, I, it makes me happy to know there's people that support us, think we're cool and think we're doing good things because Lately, I haven't been feeling too much of that. But I'm glad you're here. You think, oh, I'll kind of like a catch throughout. Um, there's someone's like, Marrow, what's it like having bones on the outside? <laughs> it, you know, you get used to it. Um, Human beings can get used to almost anything. So if you're out there and you're like, my thing is horrible, I'll never be used to it. No one will ever be used to it. 
you'd be surprised. You're adaptable. I'm adaptable. And it does feel weird when the bones touch outside, though. <laughs> I'm not going to make the joke I want to make. Anyway. Um... <laughs> I wasn't even trying to make that joke. No, I'm just... <laughs> um, someone's like, so Johnny, are you going to join the Omegas? Oof. I think I think Johnny literally goes, oof. Um <laughs> hey, yeah, Johnny. Uh, How are you? So I like the I like the idea of joining the Omegas in the future. Right now, I feel that what I have with the elementals, with this team that we've assembled with Obsidian, Marrow, Jester. Zaylin, and hopefully in the future when Ivy returns, uh, we will have that core group. I feel that this is the family that I've never had. So to think about leaving the elementals for another team at this stage just doesn't feel right. I don't think it's the time. But in a in a few years, if the Omegas are looking for another team when all of us are graduated and some of us have probably gone our separate ways. I would consider it, but right now this is my team and this is the team I want to be with. And Zayla reaches for Johnny's hand and gives it a squeeze. Someone just goes, where's Obsidian at? Obsidian is always with us in spirit. Mm -hmm. um, they are and, also, <laughs> and also is closer than you think. <laughs> but they they are off probably attending to some very important business hey do we want do we want to just point out obsidian just to like show that no. No, ba basically uh while we're here doing this meet and greet someone's got to be patrolling so obsidian takes that upon themselves and they're very shy so they don't like to be in the public eye as much so yeah let's 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 uh, obsidian's not here but let's let's give it up for obsidian in absentia Issa, let's roll, roll, i hate y'all so much right Issa, now roll plus danger oh no oh no did i find something where did i say i put it up accident oh no there they are <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm gonna fight somebody, I swear to God. <laughs> Where the character she <laughs> I was lured into a false sense of security by the lights. I was like, oh no, it's good guys. Nothing bad will happen now. Uh ten. Um, Nothing ever happens. You now. like you there's someone like trying to sneak up behind you on the roof. Oh. Yeah, I think I think uh I quickly like throw a back kick just to hit him square in the temple. All right, I do be fair, make, make, make another danger. Roll. Oh god. Okay. It's gonna be Artemis, maybe. <laughs> Surprise. That's a nine. Okay. Uh it it, it kind of clips Artemis a bit before you realize and the things are like, oh, just like who got a kick hit. In there. Shit, hit, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> How long have you been here? What are you doing up here? I checked out another roof. I figured I wanted to see your whole thing here, and then I managed to catch you. I just was a little further behind. I didn't need to be as close. Yeah. Oh, well, um. Welcome to the best seat in the house. Did I get you? I'm sorry. Come she here. Goes, let, me, let me let me look at it. She goes, we we may have to fight for real again. What 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 happened? We may have to fight I'm... for real again if you're gonna kick me like that. I know. I'm sad. I'm sorry. Let me, come, let me kiss and make it better. Come here. And she just <laughs> you caught her in the ribs and just sort of pulls up. Oh yeah, she'll <laughs> lean down and kiss it. <laughs> 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 uh they're calling me shy down there mm. by the way she goes didn't want any of the glory i never do and also that's one step closer than finding out who i am so no thank you just sort of smiles and just sits on the, the thing next to you and looks down and goes how do you think all this is going to be with you with all of you i hope okay Hopefully, swaying things in our favor. Well, from what I've kind but, of been told, of this, what I've seen from the school and others, it looks like Jung's not going to have nearly as much the base as she had. Good. Just Jung was getting too unhinged and getting too powerful for her own britches. So that's just going to leave one one more loose end, I think, for you to all take care of. 
And who's that? She kind of points down to the Newsmax, and while Chuck Carlson's not there, you've got someone in front uh, reporting. Yeah. And I think she pauses, and because her mind was like, oh yeah, Jack, and then he points to Newsmax, like, oh yeah, Newsmax. And then she pauses and thinks about it, and um, I think she's... Will Issa be honest in this moment about what happened in the last 24 hours? <laughs> well, I'm thinking think about that. You guys aren't going steady. You, yeah, she doesn't need to know. It's an even yeah. basis. Oh, I disagree, but <laughs> um, I mean, I think she trusts. I think Issa trusts Nina enough to like talk, have these conversations, and I think she's gonna lean over and be like, "Uh, remember? Do you know Jack? Right? Yeah, he broke his nose. <laughs> yeah." Um, so I, um, ran into his mom <laughs> at a Pilates class, and, uh, I just left her place this morning. I want to be honest with you, since we are seeing each other about these things, and, um, just in case Jack's yelling at me at school, I want you to have context why. Oh, um, no, that's... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'll be right there. We got an emergency. Um, Nina. As, as she kind of gets, gets a moment, she's like, good for you, getting out there. And then... N- just, Nina. A, and then as as she swings like, she, down, like she, Issa, like, tries to reach for her hand, as, and, like, you know, it's just, like, misses. You you see um, there was something she'd had in her hands that fell to the ground. It's a card. Aww. You open it. I've got to. I, once he's gone, and like Issa's like, oh, I'm a dumbass. I'm such a dumbass. And like, you know, sort of like rubs her forehead and looks down and sees it and picks up the card and looks at it. It's got your name on the front. I'm going to open it. Would you like to go to prom? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Your revenge think... had consequences. We us. gotta jump, Issa. <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> oh no. No, Issa was being honest. That's okay. Honesty's good. Yeah. I they were she... not official, technically. Technically. And, and I think uh... Issa's like I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumb and just, you know, of course, as she does, bottles her emotions up until a later date. <laughs> This seems like a probably good place to end for today. Mm-hmm. I would say everybody can everybody can clear one condition. Though Issa, if you oh. don't if you don't have guilty, I think I would take guilty. Does that mean I get to clear it now? Or do <laughs> I just you, can clear, you can clear another one if you've got one, but then take guilty. No. Um Yeah. That's and fair. then uh this is because we, we role play a lot more. Everyone if wants to take two potential, feel free. Oh sick. All right, that means I level up again. And One you, more level. Have you grown uh, closer, away, or more into your idea of yourself? Uh. I think into the more idea of myself because uh, I didn't think I had any role play with anybody. Oh, I, you than, did. You did. It was than, just you, you, had some... <laughs> you definitely had some role play. I'm sure there were some role plays. It's like, I met oh, with a team. Miss Boucher. <laughs> I didn't know you were How you here. doing? Um, it was all in service to the team when you think about it. Uh, yeah, it was all for us. <laughs> Issa comes back and said, "Hey, you can't blame me for that. That was for y'all. I, I took I, one I, for the team. In fact, I took three, three or four for the team. Yeah. Um, I will have to figure out my move later, but it's going to be into my own image, and I guess because of everything I've done, I'm going to bump up Monday. <laughs> I mean, you are good with the people. I am, and I'm gonna um, bump down danger. Oh, this is the two. Oh no, F11, F11, F11. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Into my own image. What's everybody else doing? Mm. Um. I think Jester feels hmm. 
God, I wish there was like a grow further from your own image, but um, I just, guess huh? maybe it's like uh, further from the team because you're losing a bit of yourself. Maybe, maybe, but I feel like he made that sacrifice and like said that for the team's sake. So I think that is him drawing closer to the team, but maybe it's like, yeah, okay. I'll probably do growing Colton, maybe growing away from the team because he resents having to do that having to like give up his pride on stage like that, even mm -hmm. though it helped the team. Um, so I think I would, uh, Lou, uh, do, do, do who has influence over me, Johnny, do you still have influence over me? Uh, I don't believe I have, I have influence over you. I do. Yes. Oh, you do. Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, Johnny would lose that influence over me. Cause I, I took a fair. pretty big one for the team today. That's fair. That is fair. That's me. I think mine also has to be away technically because like I kind of didn't really do anything with anybody. And I didn't really aside from like reaching you're out also about them. You're you're on the, the 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 thing telling people it's like you quit screwing up. <sighs> oh, that's true. I guess that is kind of into the into the image of myself as like maybe more of a leader or Somebody who gives orders, at least, or something. And why not? Let's do that instead, because I didn't feel that separate from the team. Um, even though it doesn't really make a lot of sense, I'm going to bring my mundane down by one and my savior up by one. You could use that much. Ah, there it goes. Uh, of an angel. I think I grew into my image of myself um, because this is the first time that I felt not like a monster. So I'm going to move my mundane up and my superior down. I, th I think Johnny grew into the image of himself. Because, like, this was a very public, like, in the public eye, which is what he's good at. And he okay. was able to, like, spin this horrible narrative. And he, like, was able to use the media to make the team look... Maybe he did gl grow closer to the team. Johnny was on point, though, not gonna lie. Because, mm -hmm. like, I think he grew closer. I th I'm, I'm thinking as I talk... I think I'm wrong. I think he grew closer. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like despite the fact he, uh, Jester feels farther away from the team, Johnny feels closer to Jester, even if that's not the way Jester feels. Mm -hmm. Ooh. If that makes sense, yeah. These like don't, these Johnny, don't have to be like ways. Johnny, reciprocal. Yeah, Johnny feels that they grew closer, but they didn't. So that that can be like a conflict in the future. So uh, you are gonna get influence. I think you already have influence over me. Uh, let me double check. I think so, though. Yeah, influence, so, influence, influence. Yeah, I do. So I believe you get to shift my labels, and then I'm going to clear a condition. Okay, I think hmm, in light of this being like a one way feeling closer thing, I think I'm going to move your superior up and mundane down. Perfect. One perfect. I have no conditions now. Nice. First time ever. Nice. All, all my conditions cost me was my pride. <laughs> Don't think about it as your pride. Think about it as the ability to hut, hurt Chuck Carlson. Okay. Is, is I it, like that reframe. I think that that's everybody? Yep. Yeah, I think all so. Right. Tell us where we can find all you wonderful folk. Hey, Nessa. You can find me everywhere at Loch Nessa. L-O-C-H-N-E-A-S-S-A. -S 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 
uh, and not as the layout says for I am Sarah. Oh, is it, do you end up in the wrong place? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> I, I do videos about fan fiction. On to the next person. I am Sarah. I am Powerful Week 1 on TikTok and Powerful Week almost everywhere else. And now I'm Blue Sky. So Woo! Woo! find me there. Uh, hey, I'm Ibrahim. You can find me everywhere on the internet that matters at Cosmic Eeb. Uh, you should check out my new show that I'm jamming uh, every Saturday at 2 p.m. Central. Uh, Prayers in the Static, Stardust Strays, where there's a bunch of weirdos on ship and they're going to get into hijinks. And I, I it, check it out. I worked really hard on it. Nice, nice. Nice. Me? No, I think it's my turn. Uh, oh, hey, okay. I'm Mo. Uh, you can find me over the internet at Sarah Basis. It's S I R E N A B E S O S. I mainly do this right now because I have been chilling out on the streaming, which is super nice, and playing way too much Baldur's Gate. But October 28th. I will be streaming a Brazilian horror game called Death Sentence with a bunch of other uh, Latin des- designers and RPG or people. So uh, I'll tell you more about it later when I th- once I learn more of the details. But yeah. Nice. Steve, take us home. Me? Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Steve. I'm the Dragon X on TikTok. You can find me there mostly. I also am a part-time co-host on a up and new podcast called Ronin's Den. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Uh, it is with Duality Complex from TikTok. He's the primary host, and I've guested as a co-host three times, and I plan to be like an every other week co-host. So you should check it out. We just talk about TTRPG stuff. Yeah. Sweet. Wow. I am Ronin's Improv Jim on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube, and we will catch you later. Bye.